Now switching gears, I'm going to now kind of jump into, you know, doing a corridor. So let me switch to a new file and we'll switch to a corridor. And you saw Chris kind of bring in an IRD. So again, in the Geopack world, we did have corridor modeling. So let me just pop open SS2 real quick and show you that you did have, you know, we had corridor modeling, so we could bring in IRDs. Um, so if your data is that far back, you know, obviously that's this would be the method you'd want to import an IRD. And so you could do that. And then of course the ITL and all that would come as well. So let's kind of go through you know that process um, real quick just like chris did i have a the terrain already created just by importing terrain i've got my geometry imported chris went and you know showed us that we want to set that terrain active so you have an active terrain to target from your you know for your slopes and so cut fill slopes but in the simple terms you just simply come here to import ird from the corridor modeling tools right and so i've got the one ird file from ss2 i've got the one corridor in there um, I've got some dependencies on that corridor, so I need to fix those once I get into open roads. So I would want to probably save that off and then go recreate that point control, if you will. So I'll go ahead and bring that in. And so Chris kind of showed this process, and it brings it in kind of generic, right? So everything kind of comes in generic. So as we had a an, an ITL file in there, and you know, if I, for example, let me edit the um, template drop and just show you here so when the template pops up you can see well everything you know everything's kind of generic because it didn't understand the feature called centerline so in my current open roads designer workspace i don't have anything called centerline as a feature here's the component asphalt i don't have anything called asphalt so it just brought them over at whatever they were you know in ss2 and so for me, I have, I've got the one template drop, but I could have multiple templates on this corridor, and I want to kind of clean that up. And so we give you a tool. They're in the backstage, so I'm going to go to the file and go to the backstage, and we've given you some civil tools here to kind of do things like that. So I'm going to cover both these two tools eventually, but for now, civil feature remapper. So this is a way to take SS2 or V8i features and map them to Open Roads Designer features. So if your workspace changed from SS2 to SS4 to ORD, then this tool would be helpful. Um, now, typically, you know, once it's set, you're pretty much going to come to this remapper. You're going to select your configuration file and hit remap. It's it knows what to do at that point. But you know, since we've you know haven't done that before, but I do have one uh, configuration set up ready to go but you know let's go ahead and create a new one so what's the process to create a new one and here i just create a new feature uh, definition or you know remapper configuration file so we'll just call this answer hours config and so that this is going to point to a spreadsheet right now i don't have one so i'm going to create a new spreadsheet and so what, we're going to look at that spreadsheet and see what, what is in that spreadsheet. So I can remap the features again from that template library to the new Open Roads Designer features that I'm using. I can do that with an IRD file, an ITL file. So in my case, ITL. So I'm going to name the spreadsheet. Let's just call it Answer Hours. Def. And we'll hit Create there. And then I want to go pick my ITL. So I'm going to back into my V8i. And there's my default ITL that I used back in the day. And open that up. So this is the process. It actually goes out, grabs that ITL, and then it creates a spreadsheet. And it's going to um, pop open or assign that spreadsheet here. So it's created this spreadsheet, answer hours def. It's assigned it. So the, the, my little config file, my XML file is pointing to it. Let's go take a look at it real quick. So I'm going to go edit it. It'll pop up. And so it's created four tabs, actually five tabs. So it's created five tabs. It's created the template points. So I've got a column from for the V8i template point feature. So I hovered over the center line and showed you that we had a center line feature. And that, you know, so we don't understand what that 
is supposed to map to an open roads designer. Same thing with point names. I've all you know, you can see here I've got all the point names in the first column from that template library on every template in the template library. And I've got all the templates listed here in the third column and then their their feature or point style. And then so it's done that with points and it's done that with components. So here's a list of all the component features it found in that ITL and then all the component names that it found across all the templates in the ITL. And so my job, and then the last tab is because I opened it up in my custom workspace, it's listed out all my linear feature definitions from my workspace and all my mesh features from my workspace. And so they're, they're going to be available for me to pick from pick list. And so my job as I migrate my project forward is I, I got to tell it, okay, centerline, you're, you're not a centerline is not the name of the feature in Open Roast Designer. The name of the feature is, let me, you know, scroll through and find something that matches. So we'll scroll around. Uh, there's one called centerline. So I'll use that one, centerline. And so I'm just going to go through and each of the features that I'm using for my particular template, um, I'm going to go through and set. And that would be the same thing here under point name. Now here, for example, on the second tab, let me actually help myself out a little bit. I only have one template. So at this point, I'm not concerned about all the templates. So let me scroll until I see my template. So my template's called two lane CG. And so I have a point CL, I got CL1, CL2, CL3. So these are the features that they were using or styles that they were using in SS2. Well, I need to tell it what, what to use, what feature to use in SS, I mean, in ORD. So let me scroll through and find that one again. And the nice thing about this is as, as you set this up, you know, I can, you know, it's, it's a spreadsheet. So copy, paste, you know, you can do stuff like that. So if you need to, you know, you can do bulk editing, if you will. So you kind of hopefully get the idea that you kind of go through and set up. So for me, I'm, I've, I've just got this one component, I mean, one template that I'm worried about. And then, of course, the same thing on the template. So let's just say, for example, I mentioned asphalt. Here, asphalt, I would go over here and what's my feature definition for an open rose for asphalt? And so up here, I've got, let's say, what do I call it? In our workspace, we call it asphalt concrete wearing course. And so, and then of course, the same thing under my component. So again, let me sort by the um, name of the template and find, for example, my here, my base course. Let's set that to same thing. So, so as you go through and do that, um, of course, you only have to do it once, so right? So I can all I have to do is go through this once, and then I have my spreadsheet set up, and I can use it for future projects. And so once I have that, I could set the way I want. You know, I save it off, and then you know I'm gonna have it you know set in my configuration to point to it and use it. In my case, I've got this template library remapper fully set up. So let's just show you what the spreadsheet looks like in there, just so you kind of see. In here, and I've I've assigned all the component features. Same thing here. I've, all the different features I've assigned them. I've only been I'm I was only concerned about my one two lane curb and gutter template. So that's all I've assigned. So that kind of gives you an idea of what I've done. So I'm just and so now at this point, all I do is hit remap and then go find the ITL. It remaps it. It actually creates a log file as well. So you can, it'll give you some information on what it did. And that's all you do. So that's the feature remapper. And so, like Chris had already done that essentially, if I go file and open that ITL file and I go and find my two lane CG template, what used to be white. Or default levels, you can see now the pavement got assigned to asphalt wearing course. 
can double click on that, open the dialog. So you can see it's got a feature definition correct there. And then the other one I kind of focused in on was the centerline point. And that got TL centerline. It's you know mapped everything. So again, you know, on this project, all I would have to do is synchronize this guy, and it would show up in the appropriate levels, weights, and colors and features. Zoom in on that and show you. So that's the ITL remapper. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.